Aloha, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about a durametric. And what is a durametric? Well, if you have a Porsche and you want to read the check engine light, uh, it was recommended to me to get one of these. Um, and what it is is it's a specialized cable that plugs into the OD, OD, OD port on more diagnostics 2 port, second gen. And we're going to need a laptop. Um, it needs to be a Windows laptop now. Once you have this, this is an enthusiast version. Uh, they make two different versions of it, a pro version and enthusiast. The only difference is the enthusiast version has something built into the port, so you can only use it on three cars before you have to probably upgrade it, trade it in, or get a file loaded on it. I'm not quite sure. Um, since I only have two Porsches, it's not a big deal. Um, so what caused me to uh, make this video and pull this out is the check engine light came on. Now, now I'm pretty sure I know what the reason of the check engine light is, but um, a lot of sensors won't go into it. This Duramatric is one step below dealer grade. Um, it will go into the Porsche and talk to the other computer systems to get information. Um, I've used this to clear the airbag light on the Porsche um, because when I first got it, it had an airbag light and it had a bad sensor and it told me what sensor was bad and I replaced it and it told me that the oil pressure sender was bad and all, it told me all these other things and I've since gone through and sorted out the car but um, it's been giving me an issue with the check engine light before and it was misfiring and I think I know what it is and I've talked to a few people but not 100% sure, so I'm going to just review with you what it is to uh, use this and get it configured. And I'm not going to show you how to install it, because when you get one, you just download the app and install it on your laptop. And I'm not going to waste your time with the configuring it on the laptop, for you, because there's nothing really to configure. You basically install it, install the driver on your laptop, and uh, plug it in via USB, and then plug it into the car load the software, tell the software what version of car you have, so um, I can try and show that, and then uh, make sure the car is on, and then it'll talk to the car, and we'll get the readout. All right, um, it is something I highly recommend. Let's go to the garage. cable. Underneath where the key port is, you see the key. Under the dash, we're going to stick this with the Porsche symbol facing out. So here you can see below the dash, it's plugged in and connected. And can you see the port under there? You get the idea. Now the car does not need to be running, but it does need to be on. Hopefully this will start up. It usually takes a few moments for the software to uh, load. You can see the little geometric icon. I've already clicked on it, just waiting for it. Okay, we're going to turn the car on. You can tell it what version of car we have. 997. It'll go ahead and auto detect the version because it's talking to the computer. Very smart. Just the
Okay, now basically what we're gonna do is Fault codes in the engine. Yes, that's what I wanted. And exactly what I was afraid of. No value, because the car's done this before, and I've talked to the engine builder, and he said it's an issue with this 2005-997 computer being sensitive. And it'll do this if I let the car idle for more than a minute or two when it's ice cold during the cold start or air injection phase. Um, it says just drive it because the car drives smooth. Yeah. So this here shows you and then how easy it is to erase fault codes. Are you sure you want to erase the fault codes? Yes. And it'll clear the code and it'll clear the check engine light in the car. And you can check all the things. You, there's this thing you can do, uh, short test all the modules, and it'll run through, and it'll check everything on the car, which is pretty slick. Um, if there's any errors that are already in the car, then it'll report them. Since I just cleared the engine management codes, it's not gonna have any engine management codes. But it'll run through all the little things and give me all the warnings. And as you can see, there's a, what's this, tire pressure monitor error. Ooh, I've never paid attention to that before. Um, airbag communication, air conditioning. I don't know what all these codes stand for. Everybody. License plate, door handle light. I guess I need to replace some lights on this car and check the air pressure monitoring system sensor. But it probably just needs to be calibrated because the battery went dead in the car. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I highly recommend one of these uh, Durametrics. Um, they work really well. It's uh, been a lifesaver. Saved me a ton of money. Um, yeah. Until next time.